Hi, welcome to KSR Data Vision. So today we are going to uh, meet Mr. Sanjay, who transformed his career from a mechanical engineer and a lecturer to a data scientist or in a business analyst. So uh, Sanjay recently got placed in Landmark Group with a very decent package. And uh, we are going to connect with him and we will take his inputs, how he transformed his career from uh, different uh, areas and at the age of 34. So hi Sanjay. Hi, Hi Mesh. Thank you for coming here and first of all, congratulations to get placed in a landmark group as a data scientist or a business analyst, whatever it might be. So, uh, could you please just give me a small brief about yourself, so, uh, for our people. Thanks for this opportunity and myself, Sanjay. And uh, I started my career as a, as a lecturer as in Polytechnic College in my native place, Kulbarga. Mm -hmm. And I worked uh, there for around one and a half year. And was, and simultaneously I prepared for gate and I cleared gate and I got MTech seat through gate. I completed MTech in 2014. So after 2014, I was into completely into the my mechanical domain related uh, uh, jobs and like mechanical simulation, structural analysis kind of job. So in the COVID time, there is a, I know what happened, everybody knows that mechanical domain and civil domain, there is a lot of, uh, there is a, uh, companies are losing their project. So I was working for a service-based company. So they lost their project. So they're uh, reducing the salaries. They're giving only basic salary. So there was a struggle uh, during COVID time. So I, I, during that time, I was thought of uh, changing my career from mechanical domain to the data relevant uh, job. So I came, I came across uh, KSR uh, uh, this uh, one uh, video in the YouTube. So I was getting inspired with that one. So I took uh, this course. So that has been really helped me to get this job. So maybe yeah, you got to know about KSR from YouTube, but uh, why you want to move into the data related field? You have any idea or else you hear about data previously? So how it means uh, from the teaching field and mechanical field? So maybe most of the people have doubts like uh, shall I survive or else we can able to handle these kind of Python and machine learning concepts. So lot many people have these kind of doubts. So is there any particular thing inspired you to, to uh, choose these kind of courses like uh, which is related to data? Uh, yeah. So uh, these uh, data relevant activities, uh, even in our mechanical domain also we have a lot of things related to uh, this, this machine learning, AI on us. Coming in mechanical domain also, you have to most cars are. I mean, now we have to prepare. Whether if you are in mechanical domain also, you have to prepare for these things. Mm -hmm. So okay, now data science is this. Now things in your field early. Yeah, I means uh, I mean in our uh, mechanical domain also they were uh, arranging some conferences. There they were talk about machine learning how they can implement in automotive domain. Okay, okay. That also inspired me because. Uh, this machine learning, data science, uh, data analytics it is there in every domain, not just limited to uh, retail uh, or insurance banking, it is there in automotive also. Exactly, yeah. So that has inspired me to learn these things and uh, switch my domain uh, to uh, this, from mechanical to this. Nice, man. So in which company you were working previously, like you have some career gap also here, right? Uh, yeah, during the COVID, I joined some uh, the, this uh, health issues also because of that I just uh, I just resigned the job and now I prepared for this from last uh, almost nine months so this is KSR has helped me in preparing uh, for this job role that so not like that so it's a you are hard work so other people also is there so who had in a hard work their people can survive so what kind of skills you learned here so Python and SQL and uh, business relevant uh, case studies. Uh, case studies. And like retail, retail was the big, biggest things. Uh, and uh, Power BI, uh, Excel, and the statistics. Uh, because the, this job will, uh, demands all these skills. Whatever these skills uh, required for uh, uh, this uh, data analysis or business analysis, uh, data science relevant uh, job rule. So, all those things uh, I learned in this course. Uh, it took almost uh, six plus months. How uh, around? So before landmark also you attended any of your few interviews? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. The reason, um, yeah, for success story we will uh, take the decisions and with the success story also we will take some inputs. So we'll make an, a failure story also. How many interviews you attended and where you failed? Okay, I attended two interviews. One is Delighty and another one is Wipro. Wipro almost 
but uh, i went for third round so after that they told uh, after getting the project they will call back again and uh, six months they didn't count on me mary you think the reason you are in a uh, not working current yeah because yeah 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 that time i was uh, preparing for myself when i was giving interviews but that was i was not i don't have a job in bank my yeah so later on i was completely we were also able to crack till third round but uh, after that they didn't release the offer letter means after almost you cleared the interview but they didn't release the offer letter chant on you that after getting project will call back again like do i can i can understand so okay and no one more company what it is that is delight delight okay so you failed in first round there for delight second, second round second, second round so what right. kind of questions they ask when first round they, they, that is power bear requirement power, power bear related questions they most ask most of the yeah most so, of them related to power bear sql yeah uh, what about then this one the uh, wipro it is business element it is business completely element. business they don't, didn't ask anything about tool mm-hmm. they just was told more focus. focusing on to the business, business case uh, so business case studies how important it is here uh, the reason most of our people students thinking like a uh, python and sql is the only mandatory or something like uh, but i, uh, I know uh, business case studies they will take care more into the final rounds so right yeah the business case studies what uh, how important is if you know python and sql that is okay but how to use python and sql in that particular domain if you know if you have domain knowledge effectively we can use these tools if you want to have domain knowledge with this domain knowledge Uh, there you can learn about KPIs, which KPIs are important, what 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 those KPIs, what kind of data is required. So all those things is very important. So did you remember any of questions? What kind of question they asked in business case studies? So not going to leak the paper, but uh, just uh, every interview will be unique. Just want to know few uh, kind of questions or similar questions. Yeah, just uh, if you take any example, if uh, if you have multiple categories, uh, for example, if you take retail. Uh, uh, for example, if we take a uh, food, uh, we take food uh, category like uh, lunch, demat is there. So if you have multiple products, if one category of product sales is going down, so why it is going down? You need to think as uh, as a business point of view, why it is going down, Ha-ha. and, and how, how you resolve this. Okay. So sales, their business is going down. How to improve their business? Yeah, why it is going down and how to improve that? Then is how as a if you know business, then only can able to. Okay. What kind of answer is can they? <laughs> what kind of question what are the, the different reasons because covid might be the reason and uh, uh, if the sales is going to mean uh, these customers are coming but uh, those products are not there in your store that might be the reason so for these kind of things we need to first gather the data we need to analyze historical data right yeah, so how many uh, sales happened in the previous month and why the sales is going down what particular reason so we need to analyze the data first then we can able to uh, get why the business is go down now exactly right and some sometimes suddenly sales will increase why it will increase that also in what time oh, sales increasing in also which, <laughs> yeah means which month it will come which uh, week or which month it will sales will increase because we have to keep our inventory ready if sales is high your products is not there means again it is ever going to lose uh, their yeah, business yeah we are going to lose credibility also yeah so that's people why people think we maybe they won't have stock predict the demand and we have to make sure that inventory will be available in the our uh, store Yeah. So these kind of words, particularly inventory management and, and uh, yes, uh, stock maintenance, stock these kind of concepts, and, uh, people, most of the people there. Management. Are, yeah. All those things are very yeah, important. Yeah. These points also very important. But most of our people they are uh, thinking only SQL and Python. So these case studies, particularly the business concepts and domain knowledge, also it's very important. So because they in, uh, the interviewer focus uh, are these things very very uh, they will focus keenly on these things. Because tool means you can learn easily, but these things uh, uh, they're uh, it's game changing. And so this is very important to learn. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Yeah. Good. Good to hear these kind of things. So you are joined in the landmark also, right? Yeah. yeah so uh, maybe uh, we will take after one year how the journey with the landmark and so sure, 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 sure. So yeah. that's a great uh, so once again congrats sanjay so congrats for your opportunity uh, your decision and congrats for your courage also so from multiple background you have the analyze also while taking your decision to move into the data science or data field you analyze it yourself which course you want to choose which course have more demand and again choosing the organization institution also correct like correct. there are multiple institution is available in the market with the less price and higher price also correct so correct. you you analyze it yourself which course or which institution chooses uh, suits you so you selected and there also you are using your analytical skill so hope um, you are going to be a um, success in your career 
Sure. So congrats once again. Sir. Thank you. Thank you. All the best. Yeah, I would like to thank uh, Team K S R, Koti uh, Sir, Aran Sir, and Mali. All those uh, these faculties are very experienced, and uh, they have complete domain knowledge. More than a decade, almost more than ten plus years of experience in their domain. Uh, that is add that will add a lot of value to these courses because they will bring their experience into this uh, teaching. That will add a lot of value because I also teach it uh, in my teaching career. So there, uh, how important it is uh, that domain knowledge is very important when you are teaching. If you have domain knowledge, uh, that will add a lot of value to the students who are uh, part of this course. So I will appreciate their efforts because they also give a lot of assignments. Which is not part of their training. They are giving some different assignment, which is not thought in their class. So that also helped us to learn uh, the things in a better way. And the courses content also very uh, well placed content, well researched content uh, because that is what industry demands, what industry requires. That content is there in the course. So that is a very helpful for the learners. So it is. I had very great uh, learning experience with these experience faculties. Thank you, thank so you. I appreciate so uh, them for their efforts also. RM sir, Kote sir, all those. <laughs> yeah, uh, they, they really put their uh, sincere efforts. Thank us you. Us to share their uh, valuable knowledge. Yes, yes. Thank you, thank you so much, Sanjay.